I've got a question from James. He says, what about genetics versus hard work versus talent? I'd say elite athletes are 65% genetics, 35% hard work. No amount of hard work is getting me to the NBA. Okay. So, yeah, that's it. this is the, the nature versus nurture, you know, argument, which happens all over the world. Um, it is a common conversation. If we're talking a sport like basketball where – you have very minimal players below six foot. Yep, genetics play a massive role. Yep, absolutely. Um, talent is important to have. We need some sort of talent. And everybody has a different talent. Let's talk tennis-wise. Diego Schwartzman is five foot five. I'm just assuming that's his height. I'm, I'm not I'm only guessing here. And John Isner is six foot ten. Now, who's to, who's to tell either one of those that they're either too short or they're too tall? They both have a talent. What is their talent? John is the conserve and hit a big ball. Diego Schwartzman is gritty and he can move. And he's consistent, right? They have different strengths. So yes, genetics can play a role in what you can do, but it doesn't determine how far you go. Right, genetics can get you there. Hard work keeps you there. Talent get, can get you there, and may separate you from the players that you're on par with if you've got more talent and you do the same amount of work. But it's not going to define you. Roger Federer has talent. That talent didn't get him where he got to. Hard work got him to that point, and talent got him past everyone else because he was more talented than others. And I think when we look at all of these situations that would be very individual with who we talk about and we can have individual examples. Absolutely. You have to have some talent to be a good player, but you also need to work to get to where you want to go. So I think there's a bit of a balance and I don't think there's a definitive answer. And I don't think I can say if you don't, if you're not as talented as Roger, you're never going to make it. Well, that's, that's wrong. You, you might have some talent, um, I don't think Diego Schwartzman is as talented as Roger Federer, but the guy was top 10 in the world. So who's to say that he's not as good, right? Roger had more talent, which what probably separated him. And maybe, I don't know if he worked harder, I can't tell you, but I think he had slightly more talent, but Diego had some talent that got him to where he got to. Now we're talking individuals and I'm, I don't like to use individual examples, but it is always a very challenging scenario to talk about do I have the genetics or the talent to make it? I think it's a very generic question. Um, and I think everybody deserves an opportunity. John Isner, 6'10", uh, Schwartzman, 5'5". Five, five. And then you've got Kyrgios, 6'4", 5", whatever he is. And you've got Djokovic, 6'1". And then you look at Ash Barty, 5'10". But you look at Savalenka, 6'1", 6'2". Who's to tell people that they can make it or can't make it due to genetics? Right? So everyone has their own talents, but I think genetics is a very hard one to, and in different sports would be different. I, I would I would dare say, right? Um, you know, and, and it will help a lot if you're, you know, seven foot playing, you know, trying to play in the NBA, than if you're five foot. You know, you're probably not as, you know, um, not going to be as fortunate to be able to play at the highest level if you're that small in basketball because it is a tall man's sport. Um, so I don't know. I, I think it's a hard hard to give a definitive answer, but genetics can play a role for, for different things, not just where you get to.